So we'll start with you, Miss Alaska, because you think it's easy to get girls at a nightclub. So no. what we're going to do is we're going to do some role playing right now. Fresh is going to be the girl. You're going to be the guy. We want you're you. Be the girl? No, he's going to be the girl. You're I'll be, be Freshina. Yeah. Okay. So I have a wig. What we're going to do is we have Mike set up, and he's going to stand in a corner like a girl would be, and then I want you to approach him mm-hmm. and speak to him and uh, attract him. So okay. I got some mics right here, and we're going to role play this thing out. Okay. And imagine I'm a bad bitch, by the way. Okay. A bad black bitch. Okay. <laughs> Slay right. that shit, Fresh queen. Shit Clip this thing on. We All got right. y'all. We, we, we up in a production Upgraded. quality here. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's take your headphones off, stand up, and we're going to have y'all do this right here in front of us. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're going to do the full role play. All right, all right. Here, Mo, can you clip her up? Clip me up, clip me up. Okay. Do this real quick, actually. And then, hey, camera, one more time. <laughs> all right, we're going to get real as fuck. All right. I guess I'm a man now. So does all it. Okay. No. Oh. No. No, Come take brush, man. Just put it like that. Bam. Cool. All right. All right. We should be good with the audio. So give us the scenario where we're gonna meet. What club? Remember? What club? She said it, yeah. And what then, club? yeah, time of day. Okay, Lemon Sola. Um, we're gonna meet at like probably around midnight. Mm. All right. Okay. We, you know, we got the burlesque show going on. We're kind of just sitting around, chilling, chatting. We're kind of having a few drinks. He's trying to grab some props, so I'm just gonna let him <laughs> sit there for a second. <laughs> Get him the wig. First he's trying to get all pretty. I get it. I get it. I don't know why you always use that hat, but okay. Look at it. Okay. All right. All right. So I want you to approach him as the guy. He's going to be the girl. And he, here's the thing. We're not going to be dickheads to you. We're going to treat uh, treat you like how a girl would normally treat a guy. So, But I'm supposed to be the man, though. No, no. He's going to act like the girl. But he's going to okay. give you normal <laughs> objections. Okay. okay. So. All right, so just come over here real quick. I want you to approach him how you would approach him, and I want to see how you would go about it because body language, the way you speak, everything, we're gonna, it's a totality thing. So I want to see how you would go about it. Okay. So he's going to be a regular girl, and he's going to give you typical things that girls say in a club. And I want to see how you deal with it. All right, uh, Fresh, when you, are you ready? Mm-hmm. I'm ready. All right, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Hi, how are you doing? Hey. My how name are you? Is Brooklyn. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? How's your night going? I'm okay, just taking some TikToks. Yeah? Yeah. Is that all you do tonight? <laughs> I'm having fun right now. Yeah? You wanna go have some fun with me? I'm at my table with my friends. You at your table with your friends? I'll buy your table and your friends some drinks. What? I'll buy your table and your friends some drinks. We have a table already. And I'll buy you some drinks. We have drinks already. I'll buy you more drinks. Well, we have drinks right here. You want more? We're good. You're good? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste my time. With <laughs> oh my god! Who, listen, listen. You mm-hmm. ain't even sound interested though, so I'm not gonna he waste was. my time with someone who ain't gonna be interested. So I'm gonna walk away. <laughs> oh shit! Well, be Period honest though. Story. Be honest. You ask some dumb questions. Dumb or questions. D- dumb statements. I'm at a table with my people. Then I'm not gonna talk to you. Bye bye. Wow. <laughs> There you, you, you ain't even act interested, though, when I talked to you. I responded to you. to you. You responded to me, but I, you I were, like you're this. like this on your phone the oh, whole I'm time. Oh, I'm busy. I'm busy. I I'm stopped. Not, exactly. You're busy on your phone. And I'm I not going to talk to you when you're on the phone. Like on a building? You just did, though. Yes, I did, like but you still went like this. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> so is it easy? <laughs> no. Fresh, tell her how she fucked up. So honestly speaking, I'm on my phone taking TikToks, right? Uh-huh. You come to me. You're taking TikToks, You didn't ask me my my name. Like where I'm from, nothing. Just hey, I'll buy you drinks and a table. Does that work for you? That's what we want. That's how most girls do, though. What? How most girls do? If you ever go to the club, most girls gonna be like, okay, yeah. Yeah, but does that get them the girl though? Does that actually work? It depends on how long you spend with them. If you spend time with so you were prepared to spend thousands of dollars on a random chick you don't know. It don't depend on thousands. It depends on the bottle. But if you if you're spending time with that girl then you're gonna get to know her eventually. If you know she's really just sitting there on her phone filming TikToks, it really de- depends. I'm not gonna talk to a girl who's on her phone the whole time. I don't, I don't know if you noticed it, but you led immediately with, I'm gonna buy you and your table drinks. So you're I'm willing to spend hundreds drink. of thousands, of do- hundreds if not thousands of dollars on a random girl. You don't know her name, you don't know where she's from. I she mean, I even... didn't say I was gonna spend she thousands. Like that. I didn't you. say I was gonna spend hundreds of dollars. Bottles, aren't, you, cheap. bottles aren't cheap. They're probably yeah. like two to five hundred. Not in Alaska no, no. prices. <laughs> wow, what bottle are you drinking? These are Anchorage prices, man. We don't do that in Alaska, though. That's the evidence. I live in Alaska, we don't do that in Alaska. Come again. That's L, man. Come again. 
And here's the thing. How many of you guys have done that at a club easily, right? Like, that's very probable what's going to happen. Because so. what do you do? So. You get the bottle and tricks. If you do say so yes, you yeah. and then you just leave with your yeah. friends. Yeah. So, yeah, she, that's that's funny. That was that was a terrible game. All right, well, now. You do it. it why wouldn't approach like that? Can you show us? Can you? <laughs> but I just find it interesting because girls, girls think it's easy to get a girl. But hold on, hold on. No, no we're going to do, because uh, she also thinks it's easy. on TikTok the whole time. <laughs> well, I mean, bro, don't be mad. Like, yeah, that's like, what you guys you do. Press, you take like, stories you, in the yeah. club. Like, I you know, personally, you, it depends you, you, on who you meet. But be yeah. honest, if you're going girl? to a girl who's on her phone, I'm not going to expect her to pay attention to me the whole time. Period. Point blank, because she's on her phone. There's people who are on their phone and in public settings and who are actually involved with right, who's look, around right, them look, and there's people look, who are look, on their phone and not look, involved look, with look, who's look. around I get it that you're pissed off right now because you I failed. I never said I was pissed but, off. But you're, no, you're, like you're, trying, you're trying to explain your, your terrible game. The problem is this. You went in to talk to a girl that you don't know. You offered immediate value to her when she didn't show you any type of signs that she was interested at all. Mm-hmm. You're willing to spend hundreds if not thousands of dollars to get her then on I the left. table bottles. Here, point blank. But, but you're missing the point that she didn't invest anything into the right, interaction. Right, so I didn't, so I left. No, but you offered. But she doesn't you offered have to, to, though. You offered. I no, left. No. I offered, and you didn't seem interested, so I left. See, that's that's why. See, this is why women don't know shit. She does have to offer something. That's how you vet I her. I do, and, and if sure. you don't want it, Can you stop interrupting me for two seconds? What I was saying was, you fucked up by just going in and saying, oh, I'll buy you, you and your table a bottle. You don't know her. She hasn't invested in you at all. She just... You just got her. You didn't even barely get her name or where she's from, and like you didn't build any attraction at all. But and, like you didn't tease her. You didn't. He came up her. to her, so she doesn't have to invest anything into him because he came up to her. Here's the thing: she needs to invest something, whether it's turning her body towards you, being a little bit more interested, asking. No, you she questions, doesn't. Investment. I tried to make eye contact and try to talk to them, and they was on the phone. Like the if I don't want to talk to a guy and he comes up to me, there's no reason why I have to invest all this time into him. Hold on. Look, we're not talking about. Like spending money or time. What I'm saying, it could be something as simple as, "Oh, what's your name? Oh, where are you from?" Investing in the conversation. But that's if I don't I mean. want to, I don't have to. That's not the point of the exercise. The, the point, point of the exercise. You didn't say that though. You just said try to flirt with this girl and pick her up. Yeah, pick her exactly. up. Exactly. You didn't say anything in like the guidelines. You just said try to pick this girl up. No, but and I, that could be any guy. You, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Every so, guy has a different so approach. you two not see the fault in him offering her bottles immediately. No, I see the fault in that, but I'm just saying she doesn't have to offer him anything if he's going to You said to yourself, her. what do you do? Go to a park first to see if the connection is there. Yeah. What was that? What do you mean, what I'm was that? To, he's trying to buy me. Off rip. Off rip. Drinks, bottle, table. The thing is, though, you're in a club, and that is how guys pick up girls in the club. Like, that is a very easy offer to offer a girl. So you're, telling, will work. So you're okay. telling me, you go to a club, guys off your balls and drinks, you're going to smash? I never said that. So then why, so then you, why, 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 why would that work on me? Why would it work on him? It wouldn't work on me, but it might work on most girls. It doesn't. It doesn't. That's what we're trying to say. It doesn't. You know what happens in Well, club? then try something some else. They get free drinks with they their friends, party, do some stories, mm-hmm. and then go back home laughing in an Uber free night. Oh, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I find it hilarious. They're, they're trying to tell us <laughs> advice that doesn't even work with them. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, <laughs> Isn't that fucking crazy? But That's how you get us. No, if you guys want the advice, my advice is to just ask a couple questions if the girl gives it back to you and asks you well, that's what questions. I just said she definitely just that's said I just fucking but said. she came to say you know. some bottles and some drinks what's good shorty if you're not interested then I'm gone period point but blank you, listen the whole point is right to illustrate that men and women would live different lives right and for example knowing how guys have to operate and how girls have to operate who has an easier life men or women when it comes to dating and lifestyle who has an easier life Women. Mm, yeah, I, yeah. I, women? Uh, then, okay, uh, what about you? Mm. What's the e- easier life, men or women? Mm, I think it depends. Yeah, basically. Let's see, you gotta choose one. From your I'd own... probably say men. Men? Mm. What about you? I'd say men. Men do all the grunt work in the world. How's it easier life? I think it's an easier life. Maybe not easier, but simpler. Because as a man, your life is very straight lined. You get a good career, you get the girl, you get the car, you get the house, you have the family. Damn, is that easy? We just did a but podcast <laughs> just now. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Wait, you get the career, you get the car, you get the house. Are you going to let me talk? You get the money. You know what? Go ahead. Let me talk. Come on, man, there. So, okay. as a man, it's very, very straight. You know what you have to do in this life. It's very, very easy. <laughs> well, it's not easy to do, but the plan is laid out. As a girl, it's like, okay. Well, now I'm going to be successful, but I can't be too successful. But I want to be a good mom, but I can't be just a mom. Mm-hmm. You have to balance a ton I, of things I at agree. the same time. 
It's not just all straight lined. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? I I can't wait to respond to this, but I'll leave it here for now. What about you? Being a mom is a very hard job. Mm-hmm. So what's I'll harder? Like that. Being a man or being a woman? I think um, both of them have their own troubles, but I do agree that men do the more difficult like work work mm-hmm. in the world. But being a parent is a very difficult So ultimately, who has a harder to. life, men or women, mm-hmm. in your opinion? It depends on the on the relationship and the situation. Because everybody has a different situation. Let's just choose one. Mm, I'd say like a woman that stays at home and takes care of the kids all day. Bro, you, you feed the kids, leave it there. It poops and shit, man. That's like, man. Do you, that, have, man. Kids? Do you man, have kids? Man, hey, listen. Good you poop yes. shit, yes doesn't no? matter. Yes or no? Hey, you listen. Kids? I don't have kids, thank oh. God. Oh, okay. But so then hey, you don't listen, know then. I do know. I talk kids. Just leave them alone. You feed them. I'll give you this. They take a shit. No, I don't. Where the kids are not easy. Feed them iPad. Is it more? Mm-hmm. Harder as a woman to do that than work as a man, I would argue that point. Yeah. Well, what about you? Who has a harder life, men or women? A woman has a harder life, I feel like. Yeah. 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 So is that all the girls at the table think it's well? Well, she four, mentioned. Four. Yeah, four. So we have a video to play here that illustrates the guy's life as a guy normal day to day, and dating for him as well in his aspect. So let's see who has a harder life from this example. Play the clip if you don't let's mind. Got gotcha. you. One second. Is this one right? Yeah, this one here. All right. One second. Mm. This is a real... Okay, so a guy's typical life in L.A. We'll play it real quick. A single guy in L.A. I wake up at 7 a.m. and immediately check Raya. Eight different girls flaked on me, but one didn't. Let's go. We've got dinner tonight. But then I see a cute girl at the gym and hit on her. She's totally going for it. So I flake on the first girl and invite this girl to dinner instead. You have to understand who I'm up against in L.A. Actors, models, athletes, girls out here like a guy who's six feet, makes six figures, and is packing six inches. So first I put on my Tims to boost me up to six feet. Then I rent a Lamborghini Huracan to make it look like I make six figures. At 12 o'clock, I stuff my bulge, double stuffed. (laughs) Then I see another cute girl, so I cancel on the gym girl and invite this girl to dinner instead. Then I jump back on Raya and match with an absolute baddie. I cancel on the girl who I just made plans with and invite this girl to dinner. At 7 o'clock, I pick her up in the Lambo. She wasn't really impressed. I take her out to catch steak. We have a decent conversation, but then I notice she starts to get DMs from professional athletes. I gotta act fast. I find one of the servers and pay him a hundred bucks to pretend to recognize me so my date thinks I'm important. And it all goes to plan. People outside of LA would say that's a waste, but here, that's an investment. At 10 o'clock, I drop my date off and make a move. She instantly rejects me. She said it's not gonna work out because she doesn't do long distance. I live in Hollywood and she lives in the valley. I knew I should have set my radius to one mile. From there, I drive home broke, alone, and empty. And that's my day. I think this really only goes for a certain person. Yeah. That also, he punched so ladies, above his weight class. You just saw the video, right? Oh. Give us your first thoughts and who has a harder life, you would say. Uh, the first thing about the picking one girl, then finding another girl, then picking another girl, find that, I believe, like, that's realistic. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, the portion about the pretending to be famous and stuff like that, that, that that's unrealistic. But in general, like, that... That video seems seems pretty easy for men. Like, just pick another girl, find another girl, pick another girl, find another girl. Oh, this one flaked on me. I'll just find another girl. Like, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, we just saw how hard it is to pick up girls as a guy. That's not real. I'll leave it there. What about you? That's a very real scenario. Yeah. It happens all the time. I it mean, yeah, me. but I feel like in that scenario, like, he specifically dipped on certain girls, and he could have chose one girl. So he himself chose different girls over the one that he had. So he was really just kind of choosing his day upon who he had available. Mm-hmm. So that's really his own, you know. And he had call. options, too. So he, he could did. He had options. Yeah. Keep and in mind. he bought that Lamborghini, too, mm-hmm. for that day. So he didn't really have it. So he's really lying to those girls, too. I Keep mean, in so mind like, everything he did in that video to get those dates, by the way. What about you? First of all, he was punching way above his weight class with the last girl, so he can't get mad if she doesn't want anything with him at the end. He did that to himself. He could have had the first girl. But I also think that guy needs a job. Um, If he has that much time and energy to be so concentrating over which girl is going to like me for the Lamborghini that I leased, first of all, he's going to figure out that it's not real. Um, So she's not going to like you if she liked you for that. She's not going to like you at the end. Um, And he should put his time, effort, and energy into starting a business and something like that will get girls to naturally like you. Okay. I have one thing to say. I think fake energy will attract fake women. Yes. 
I still I second what you said. All right, but that's, that's, your, that's your full summary? That's the summary. Okay. And what about you? Yeah, he played it crazy, renting the fake stuff, and then, like, the on, different man. girls, he could have just, like, went with the first one, but picking all day, he went with the wrong choice, and, and the night he was sad. The right girl will stay for whatever you got and love you for who you are. Stop the cap. <clears throat> Question real quick. So why do you think, because a, a couple of you guys think that uh, a man's life is easier than a woman's. Uh, why would you say that? Uh, what, what makes you think that? We'll start with you. Um, man has it more simpler. He really just has to like up his worth and his value and then he can really get whoever he wants. Is that easy though? Um, <laughs> no, it's not easy. Hard work. Definitely work, takes it. Does a woman have to up her worth? Yeah, we just have to take care of ourselves and make sure we have to par. And... But do you have to up your worth yeah. to get a man? Um, or just yeah. show up? Yeah, by yeah. appearance, yeah. yeah. Let's say, yeah. Mm. But if you stayed the same, would you still be able to find a guy? Um, Maybe not as high value as you might want if you take in the best care of yourself. Okay. But you could do nothing and still attract a man, right? Yeah. Can a man do nothing and still attract a woman? Mm. Most likely, no. So who has it easier? A woman has it easier, I would say. <laughs> right. Hey, it's right. well, accountability, okay. man. 180. All right, and then you said that you think, why do you think a man's life is easier than a woman's? Mm, I didn't say that. I said that. You said it depends on the context. Let's yeah. assume that neither of them is parents. Let's say both of them are single and don't have children. Okay. Whose life is easier? The woman's life. Because oh. they, uh, you know, they get treated by the men. And, in a, you know. A, like traditional setting okay what about you you think a man's life is easier why do you say that i think a man's life is easier because the playbook is already kind of laid out it's very simple for what you have to do as a girl okay. there's so many gray areas what do they and, have to do um work hard invest in themselves and like she said increase their value and then everything else will kind of follow do you think it's easy for a man to just increase his value yeah, go to school, become a doctor. Easy. Oh, uh, doctor, yeah, sure. Yeah. How many, how many years is, is <laughs> He should be smart. Is it easy? How many years? How, no, no, real quick. How many years what? Is it to be a doctor? How many years? Eight. Is that easy? Eight I years could, of not making any money? It's not easy, struggling. but it's straight lined. It's very... A doctor, a straight Step line, one, doctor? step two, step three, step four. Yes, it is. It's very lined out. If you do A and B, you will get C. You Yo, will Chad, become a doctor. Just become doctor, man. So you're saying <laughs> a guy can just wake up one day, get funding for school to be a doctor, and his life is set. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or he could literally start an e-commerce business right now. Oh, from, yeah, he could. That's a good he idea. could start any business. Guys, you know what? Forget he can. work. Forget a nine to five job. E-commerce all the way. E if you're here. not wanting to do the all school, the do that. So, yeah. Question. Okay. So you're so you're making the argument that it's easier because I guess it's uh, more linear. Uh, yes. So you think because it's more linear, it makes it easier? And what I said was, I don't necessarily think it's easier, but it is simpler. <laughs> Because it's already been done before so many times. Very, very easy. With yeah, girls, but, there's a lot of gray area. But, okay. Uh, how, how's there more gray area with women? Especially in recent times, too. You guys ask what girls bring to the table. So you now have to be educated. You want to start your own business. You want to have your own thing. Yes. But then you also need to be a good mom. Have a good stay-at-home life. Be very, you know what I'm saying, very mother-like. Let me ask you this, then. Is that a requirement of men or is that a requirement of society and feminism telling you to chase a career and make money do you think men actually care about these things you just mentioned i don't think they do but i think a lot of women <laughs> oh, oh, oh. but i think important though i know but i think a lot of women want that but a lot of men just want like the little mom that'll be in the kitchen all day so it's hard to balance but not why being do, why do they want that though that independence why do they want that why do women want that mm -hmm. Because sometimes you'll invest into a guy and then he'll mishandle you. And then if he does something that you invested all of your eggs in him, you have to have something to fall back on. So you always need your own thing. I think your argument is faulty because you're making the argument that a man's thing is it's more straight line. It's like linear. Like you just become just become successful. But the thing is, is that to be become successful is very difficult as a man. You got to build yourself up. But as a female, you have the option whether you want to be successful or not. But you can still find a man. I guarantee if you lost your job tomorrow, your boyfriend wouldn't leave you. Yep. You wouldn't care probably. But if he lost his job and he lost his social status, you would care a lot. So I would argue that women at least have the ability to pick and choose if they want to be successful. Men don't. 
They do, and that's true. But so as a man, who, then how could you say that women have a harder life when they can pick and choose if they want to be successful or not? Because versus men, they, they must sometimes successful. having more choices isn't always easy because people expect you to do everything instead of just one thing. Because if you just pick one thing, you're faulty in another area. Whereas a guy, if you only have one choice, it's very, very simple. You just do this. But you're not penalized as a female for being mediocre, but you are penalized as a man for being mediocre. Women can be mediocre if they want to be. By who? What do you mean? Society. Says who? I see mediocre men getting great women all the time. Who? Mm-hmm. You know what's funny? Mediocre men, right? Mm-hmm. Who are these people? They work a basic hourly wage job they're not really motivated in their career they don't they're not motivated in themselves to go to the gym they're just kind of like bleh that's mediocre what about the guys at cvs mcdonald's working maybe home depot depends on the situation if they were homeless and they worked their asses off to get this job and they're working super hard that's a great person but so why don't you choose one, one of those guys because I'm not attracted to them. Why not? Why not? Because, because we're not guys. on the same level. Oh, oh, so they're not on your level. Mm-hmm. So you're, saying, you're trying to say that these guys aren't worthy of you? If I was very, very attracted to one of them, I would be. But typically those people I'm not attracted to. See, this is a problem. I think on some level, you want to say this in a nice way, but you're not. Because you know what's, what's happening here. Your level, of, for example, of being a good-looking girl isn't going to fit the guy that's working an average job. Because your standards are kind of high. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, what do you bring to the table? I don't need to bring anything to the table, one. But two, if if you were to ask that, if I were to answer that, I'm very, very educated. Mm -hmm. I have two businesses. I make more than my boyfriends ever have. Oh, shit. And I am pretty. And that does have value to some guys. So... Yeah, I do well, bring a lot. That just proved her, her first answer. I don't have to exactly. bring anything to the table. I think that kind of perfectly personifies what I mean. Women don't have to bring anything to the table and still have options in men, but men have to bring a lot to the table to even get a date, is my point. But some guys want girls that bring stuff to the table. So you don't have to, but, but some guys but, do but want the point it. Is, is that women, the same but the to point the is, is that women, there's no burden of performance on women. There's a burden of performance on men. Mm-hmm. So... The argument is simply, I'm just saying men have a harder life because we have to work a lot harder than you guys to get So there's a burden. Noticed. So there's a burden of work, but is there a burden of family on men? Because if a woman's not a good mom, there's a burden on that. But if a father isn't necessarily a good father, that's... Well, he's expected to provide. not too much of a burden. He's, he's, he's expected to provide for Which is family. the work. Yes. Yes. Yes, he's expected to provide. Oh, I mean, I, I genuinely believe that women live a way easier life in 2024 than men do. Way easier. Because women have the ability where they can either, A, they can go to school and become successful. Cool. They want to do that. They can. But if you decided, I don't want to fucking work anymore, you have that ability to do that. If your boyfriend makes enough money and he's willing to take care of you, you can do that. But as a man, you never get that break. You never get to say, oh, you know what? I just don't feel like working. Like, men are only respected by society and valued if they bring value back. Women don't have to bring value. It's a choice. Because women are valuable, just themselves, They're born inherently. With their, that's what, exactly. So that's why life is on easy mode for you guys, because you're born with value. That's my point. And we I asked you guys that. as well earlier, how'd you, how'd you find your guys? Did they approach you first? They didn't know what you did for a living, but they approached you. Why? He did. He did. We worked for the same company. So he knew who I was, and I was one of the only girls. Okay, but be honest here. Your last boyfriend, did you know what you did too? Huh? Your last boyfriend. Did he know what I did? Yeah. We started dating in high school, so I worked at a coffee shop. And again, that's that fine because he doesn't expect you to do what? Be successful because he likes you for your looks. No, I think he was definitely banking on me being successful. I've always talked about it. So Hold on. Did he break up with you, though? He did. Oh, why? Long distance. You need so long he wasn't banking on you being successful. I guess he wasn't banking that hard. <laughs> yeah, not enough, I guess. With you. Because men don't get with girls for their financial success. And hold on. History always repeats itself. You're doing it right now. You guys in where Arizona, right? And mm-hmm. you're here in Miami. Yeah. Long distance. But this one's better. <laughs> okay. But why are you dating these long distance niggas, man? Like why? It doesn't start out that way. It just happens. Mm. It's a curse. You're single, bro. Just saying. Bro, I saw her IG page, bro. She's she's bad, bro. Wait, what? Really? IG page is not good for being in a relationship, man. She's single, man. <laughs> Her Instagram. Do you have any pictures with your boyfriend on your Instagram? I do. Where? Let me see. My pinned post. Uh, Hold on. Put it up. Where? 
Is that Shadow? I think it's a Shadow, shadow bro. Is it Shadow, bro? <laughs> bro, I think it's a Shadow. No way! <laughs> yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think it's a Shadow, bro. Look at that nigga darker than me! I think it's a Shadow. Yo, bro. Where, where is it, bro? Nigga, Yo, uh, no uh, face, shadow. no case. Uh, Oh, okay, oh, okay. Way over, bro. The last post, the four, four yeah, posts. Bro, what the fuck, bro? bro. A hand, <laughs> bro. What? Man, oh this nigga goodness. a shadow, bro. That is hilarious, bro. Oh man. She look Wait, Shut uh, question. How old is he, by the way? Twenty six. Yeah, this nigga don't know. Do you mean more than him? Yeah. Okay, so uh, where is he now? I mean, where is he in, in the pictures now? I see only one. Right there. One photo. Where? Down. Down. Right there. Down. Down somewhere. Uh, Middle. Middle? What the fuck? Is that a picture? This nigga's a reflection now? Yeah, yeah. 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 Reflection? Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought she was an art basil. What's up? Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, okay. Listen, well, you can't make this shit up, bro. Yo, yeah. uh, you okay. can't make this shit up. She got I mean... him hiding in plain sight, bro. Yo, nigga's a ghost. Yo. Yeah, bro. Fucking gives off single vibes, but that's fine. Okay. Um, You think that it's easy to pick up girls, right? As a girl? Pick up girls as a girl? As a guy, sorry. Okay. No, as a guy, sorry. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's try it out. Well, I oh. mean. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how you feel. Okay. okay. Uh, what's the scenario that you want to pick them up at? Or her, in this case. Supermarket, gas station, I don't yeah, know. you pick club. scenario. She picked a hard one with the club. Yeah. Pick a club is tough. Uh, I don't know. The park? We'll Bodega. <laughs> you took park? Going what? for a walk? Cool. Like All the park. Right. All right. Yeah. So, uh, Wait, do you want to do this one? My, my voice is fucked, bro. Okay. You got to do it. Mm. Okay, right. again, the, Shaniqua, let's yeah, go. Stra strap her up. Okay, so uh, take that. Yeah, take your headphones off. We're going to do this again. So we're, the scenario is the park, right? Middle of the day? Yep. Okay, so I want you to approach him yes. at the park. Uh, Mo, can you start the sound up? Just come over this way. He'll, he'll, he'll clip you up real quick. Okay. Oh, Mo, turn yours on. Yeah, what should we put up for her? Um, uh, right. All right. All right. Is it that? No, it's on. Yeah. yeah. No, he, God damn it, fresh man. You gotta hold it. I mean, I'm trying to think of like every pickup line every guy has ever told me. <laughs> no. Let's see how those work. <laughs> no, it's on. Good. Yeah, it's on. All right. So let's see how uh, let's see how she does this. So it's the park middle of the day. Uh, he's gonna act like a regular girl, give you regular girl objections. Let's see how you handle them. Yes. And remember, you're the guy. So you have to approach first, right? Yeah, you gotta approach. Okay, so I'm right. You guys ready? Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, you're in roll. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what I can like to do. Excuse hey, me, girl. What? Hey, what's up? Doing all right. What you doing? How, how's your day going? I'm um, doing okay. What's your name? Sarah. Sarah? Oh, that's a pretty name. Oh, you have really pretty eyes, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, you're from my mom. I love your hair. I love your hair. It's really nice. It's my wig. Oh, that's a nice wig. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, you come here often? Like, you know, walk like often? You look good. I'm going to the gym right now. Just walking there myself. Yeah. What gym do you go to? Boxer gym. The boxer gym? Mm -hmm. Like you box and stuff? No, just there's a boxer ring there. You know. Oh, that's with my cool. friends. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would like to take you out sometime. You're really pretty. You know, I think you're really nice, too. So maybe we can get to know each other. Thank you. Um, sorry, I just First don't speak talk to strangers bit. a little bit. Yeah, you don't talk to strangers? Not maybe really. we can get to know each other. Where are you from? Hmm? Me? I'm Cuban. What do you do for work? Hmm? Me? I'm a tattoo artist, actually. Really oh, nice. successful. I love art. I'm an artist. That's great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so where do you want to go? Yeah, wherever you want. Wherever I want? Yeah, wherever you want. You choose. Wherever well, you want. let's see. Um, I'm from Miami, so... <laughs> I like to go to Poppy Steak, yeah. Komodo, Carbone, spend the club after with my friends. Can they come too? Yeah, you can bring whoever you want. Great. Yeah. We okay. have a great time. Give, give me my Instagram. Out. Yeah. Oh, how about you give me your number? Let's do Instagram first. Mm. That would safer. I like, you know, maybe. Because we just met, you know, and I don't want to be, you know. You don't want to be so weird? Put my Instagram down. Mm. Okay. All right. I can give you my Instagram. <laughs> so maybe, you know, later I can get your number so we can go out. We'll see. And I'll give you a call. Let me know. Mm hmm. Okay, all right, that's fine. That's it. Oh, that guy. That was good. Yeah. Okay. That was good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, you guys she asked a lot of questions. Round two. Round two, Martin? Round two? Yo! Yeah, that was all right, good. give me the, the thing. Yo, I was nice on that one. Yo. Yes. 
Okay, let me get your your the little oh the little thing yeah. 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 yeah just yeah just unclip it. Yo, that's fucking funny. All right, so okay. ladies, you guys think she did good? Okay, let's no, that was good. tell me tell me what, how she did good. Yeah, she asked here. a lot of questions, so like yeah. trying to get to know him. Um, her. I trying to get to know her. I would have said uh, maybe if she was gonna go to box R and if she was if he was already in boxing clothes to try to join her, but I'm not quite sure if she would have said yes or no compared to that, or if she has a guest pass, or he could have said, oh, hey, like, I do boxing, I can teach you a couple moves, blah, 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 stuff like that. But in general, I thought it was really good. I thought the questions that were asked were really... Has that ever worked with you, where a guy told like you, that hey, you're going to go to the gym? Let's, let's go to the gym. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's, let's go to the gym. I would never let a man come to the gym with me. Hold on. Yeah, I can get that. Has that worked on you, where a guy approached you and said, hey, like, you go to the gym? Like, how about I just go to the gym with you has that worked on you yeah like hey let's let's go to the gym together I, th like I that think that's same fine. day yeah went to the gym together that same time well no beforehand beforehand but if you're walking to the gym and they have a guest pass then yeah go go work out with them like have, have a good workout session so if you and, met like, a guy uh, randomly in the park he said to you hey i'll come to the gym with you which is it come along yeah, come along. Like if they're if they're if they're decent, yeah, if they're decent looking, then yeah. And then it looks like they were if they if they if it looks like they work out and they know what they're doing, then yeah. All right. If you work out, then yeah, you can teach me a couple moves. I'm like a rookie, like yeah. All right. What about you? What do you think? You said that she did good too, right? Why do you say that? The whole interaction. What'd you say about it? About that just now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what planet are you on, my dog? Yes. About just now. I think it was good. Why? I think it was good. Um, the eye contact, the asking questions. I just think like. What do you think? Tell us. I think it was good. <laughs> yes. I think you played a really good girl. <laughs> okay. You did a great job. She asked questions. Yeah. You answered the questions. Trust me, we do this for a living. You know, you yeah. weren't like really standoffish about it, and you actually answered the questions. I just think, yeah. What you want, bro? What? Yes. Never mind. All right. What about you? I think he should be, well, she should be more assumptive. Like, oh, you're on the way to Boxer? Me too. This is my first time trying it. Like, I'll walk with you. That's it. You just tell her how it's going to be. You don't say, can I walk with you? That is so creepy. I would never let someone walk to me with me to the gym and come with me with my guest pass. My guest pass is for my friends, not you. Mm -hmm. So I'd just be assumptive and be like, oh, that's actually where I'm going too. Um... Yeah, and then just like make conversation on the way. You, you're actually That's pretty so funny, so by the way. How you just like, uh, you know, it's fine. <laughs> uh, I'll continue. You're good though. Actually, you know, yeah, you were in it. Smarter. What about you? Your first thoughts on that that interaction? Oh, it was great. I think you asked great questions, and and you did a good job in like playing like the guy and stuff. And you was playing hard to get, but you did a good job. Yeah, he was playing hard to get. Yeah, <laughs> he was batting his eyelashes though. <laughs> okay uh, that was ladies a terrible interaction that was very bad that was really bad because uh number one you gave way too many compliments you seemed way too interested mm. uh you didn't really have any concrete conversation it was a bunch of like oh well so um yeah so tell me like it just you just came off really creepy you stood way too close to her yeah right? way, you too were way too close to her like no spatial awareness and you blinked so fast I'm yeah. like, oh my god! Like, okay. And then, and then the other thing too was, so he said, uh, like, oh, he said, like, <clears throat> he said, oh, I like to do X, Y, Z, because you asked him what does he like to mm -hmm. do, and then he picked all these expensive ass restaurants, and then, <laughs> then they said, can I bring my friends? And you said, yeah, yeah. Notice, right? You ask the girl I mean, I what she that. wants to do. If you're the man leading the situation, you say, listen. I'm gonna take you on a Wait, date. You do that as well. well I, like I'm bring your friends. Yeah, hold on, hold on, bring your friends. Hold on. You're right. When's, when's last time? Hold yeah. on. So you brought your friends on a date before with the, with the guy? Of course. Did you fuck that guy? No. Okay. <laughs> so why would you give that advice if it because doesn't if he work? paying for me, he could pay for my friends. <sighs> but how does that benefit the guy? It doesn't. We all here to turn up, make him look good. Thank you. Do, <laughs> do you guys just see what you did? <laughs> like, so that interaction was terrible then. Yeah. I think she did a good job, though. She was asking good questions. <laughs> like, she seemed like she cared. I think I like, felt like a girl hitting on hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let's, let's use a little bit of common sense here. I don't agree. You literally just admitted that when the guy pays for you and your friends, you don't give him intimacy. Yeah. Right. She was talking to him trying to get intimacy, and she did the same exact thing that the guys do. So why would that be a good interaction? 
I mean, we gonna give it who we want to give it to at the end of the day. It don't matter, like, how you talk. Like, if I fuck with you, I fuck with you. If I don't, I don't. But wouldn't it be fair to say that if you're trying to bring your friends on a date to an expensive place, you more than likely don't fuck with this guy like that? That's for us to turn up. Like, <laughs> that's for us to all have fun. Yo, okay, anyway. listen, listen, right. listen. If you want to, if a guy wants to smash you, right, mm-hmm. what is better? You and your friends or just you want to date with him? Me and my friends. So we could all, like, vibe out. and you, like... just, you just said you don't <laughs> fuck the guys that do that. Like, most likely not. So then how does the guy benefit? He My doesn't. Presence. He doesn't. Well, he gets our time. Like, time. we here making him look better. So <laughs> no, yeah. he's spending a bunch of money to do it. Good. Good. It, it ain't tricking if he got it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy because again. So you see what we mean here now, like why that like I going. I think it's in, very hard. You're letting to the girl hit, lead the dict- the the to have the male masculine energy yeah, hitting on a girl. I agree. Yeah. I guess but you now said it was easier putting earlier. myself in that pers- like in that perspective, it's like very intimidating. So because think I about agree. how many guys approach you guys daily, Instagram, yeah. like I said, in person. You guys have it done to how a many knows? <laughs> do you say or yeah. do you say yes to every single guy? No. Exactly. Yeah. So imagine how hard it is to get a girl to go on a date with you after multiple attempts from different guys. Mm-hmm. So you got to stand out. It was interesting. Guy. Like all the girls here thought that was a good interaction, but the reality is, like, <laughs> I thought it, I thought I did horrible. Honestly, yeah, you, like, oh, like, I, 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 you know. I was super nervous, and I was like, I was like, I felt like I was complimenting you. Like I was talking to my oh, homegirl. So you, you I love even your know. hair. You I, love too much. Your, I love your. I love your eyelashes yeah. because I, I know how to hit on a girl hitting on a girl, but I'm not a, I'm not a man. You guys are not going to get yeah, a fuck tell about her. this. You can't tell a girl, what do you want to do? Because then you're going to be there for like five hours. Like, oh, I don't know. And what do you want to do? Anytime you do that, <laughs> yeah. like she's going to pick an expensive restaurant. She's going to try to bring her friend. She's going to try to get one over on you. And I don't yeah. expect you guys to memorize this shit because you're not men. But what I'm trying to explain here is that women live a way easier life is what I'm trying to show. And even you, like you said, oh, yeah, I'm bisexual. But yeah, when you deal with a girl as a woman, she's going to have lower expectations of you than is if she's dealing with a man. Correct. Or, like if you go out with a girl and the bill is split 50-50, you're okay with that, right? But if you go out with a guy, yeah. no, no, no. But if you go out with a guy, you're gonna expect him to pay that bill, right? Yeah, correct. Okay, so by definition, you literally expect more from men when you date them. I expect more from men. So yes. we're just, we're just saying, in in a nutshell, most guys that you meet are, for example, out in public, are struggling with girls. Now, granted, a few guys have mastered game or talk, talking to girls, and they get, for, for example, variety. But most guys don't have that. So by default, a guy's life is harder for dating and as for as well, hard work itself. In real life. Can I bring up a point? Sure. I feel like um, the dating pressure for men, uh, you know, trying to be like the the provider and that figure is that they have that pressure. But I feel like women have different pressures and mm. trying to be a good example, a good woman, a good mother. So, you know, I maybe it's a biased opinion, but I like it's just different scenarios. I disagree. There's no there's no I pressure do. on women for anything. You guys can be hoes, you'll be respected. You yeah. guys can be smart, you'll be respected. You go to school, be uh-huh. respected. You could choose to stay at home, mom, you'll be respected. Do you respect the hoes on here? Yeah, I don't think you guys or you're disrespected no matter what you do. Hold on, hold on. Sorry. What I'm saying is that there is no pressure on women because women could do whatever they want and no one's going to say anything to them because if you call women out on their bullshit, you're called a misogynist or an asshole or a sexist. You oh, can't okay. you can't I criticize women in 2024. That's facts. You get canceled for that. So there really isn't pressure on women to do anything. What That's are we why. doing right now? What do you mean? This whole podcast is criticizing women. Oh. But how many podcasts exist like this? There are so many people right now that I'm looking at. So but you ask, can't. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ask yourself a question. Why are there so many people here watching? Because they all feel the same way. So the fact that you are saying that men can't criticize women right now, yeah. this is literally what we're doing. Yeah, so yeah, that's but, false. But what I'm trying to explain to you is that how many platforms actually do this? I have no I, idea I because I'm not like a male, female if, if, cause, perspective. Cause, hold on. If we got this many people watching, right, that means clearly they're like, oh, shit. Like, there's demand for it, right? But there's not many people that do this because no one tells women the truth. And women do get disrespected if they're hosts, I said, I has, so. Not yeah. really. Yes. Yeah, they do. From who? Yeah, they do. From who? From the men and other, no, yeah, from, from men. other girls. What do they say? Men. They'll say, oh my gosh, she's a whore. Like, like don't, like, she's like ran through. Something I heard like one that. thing one time, she's and it's, really you only not. believe to be true what you believe yourself to be true. So what, what, I'm, sa- what I'm saying is yeah. this, because you're saying there's a lot of pressure on women. 
I'm arguing, I don't think there's a lot of pressure on women. I think women could behave however they want and society will reward them for it. We have body acceptance. We have women, you know, slut, slut walks, all this other stuff. Like we've created entire economic infrastructures to make women feel better about poor decisions that they make. However, we don't have these same infrastructures for men. If I'm a brokey as a guy or I'm a loser or I'm a fat loser, no one says anything to me about like, oh, dude, it's okay. You're still a king, even though you're a fucking bum. No, you get ridiculed and made fun of, fun of it, fun, fun of for it, rightfully so, because I think guys that are bums should get made fun of. But we don't have those same shaming systems for females like that. They're not indoctrinated in society like it is for men. Um, Women have to be beautiful and skinny and look good all the I time. Like yeah, they have kind those of pressure standards. Way so. more than men and get called bimbos. There's higher standards for women. You could be fat and have a bunch of money and women will still fuck the shit out of you. But it's not easy, but it's not easy to get a lot of money. No, it's, it's not easy, it's but it's not difficult. easy to look good mm-hmm. all the time either. Bro, it's yeah, easy hold on, hold on. Women. women are born with their beauty. Like, not just don't women be are fat. beautiful? No. What do you mean? It, no, there's women that are literally... You can be maintain. Average. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You could be an average looking woman and still garner a man that's five points above you in attraction easily. Hold on. We asked you guys earlier your routine. Most of you wake up early or wake up any time of the day. What do you You go to the gym. That's pretty simple. Yes. Guys, what do we have to do? Go to the gym, work yeah. hard. Hopefully, we, we become successful and get a girl okay what do girls have to do they have to go to the gym they have to get their hair done they have to get their nails done they have to tan they have to get a facial they have to Bro, work they that's, have to that's all it's, of it. it's elective though. guys it's, have to brush elective. their hair that's it it's elective but hold on, hold on. Yeah. at the end of the day that's it's a choice you make you're gonna do it anyway we have to succeed in life we have to become better we have being to a woman become is a lot more a expensive than being a man okay. as well hold on, hold on. but what we're saying is that all these you don't have to do that and you can still attract the man no, you don't have to you, you understand? Like, you can st- you cannot do any of these things and you'll still be able to attract Where the Where are these guys at, though? Those men are easy to attract. <laughs> Stop I picking the fuck niggas, man. Like, you know, they're, they're at CVS. You're right. They're Walgreens. You're, you're, missing, you're, missing, you're, missing the tender, maybe. you're missing the point that women are given their value up front. Men have to earn their value. So, like, girls can absolutely just be completely average, not put any makeup on, and oh. still attract the guy. However, a man can't attract any girl. He's got to be exceptional. Like, I you're on Tinder, on girl, right? Though. How many guys do you swipe Tinder? left on? A lot. A lot. But hold on. It's easy, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's easy. easy to get girls. Yes, it's easier for women to get guys than it is for men to get girls. So you admit? I agree. Men swipe right on like 80% on, of girls. Yes. Women only swipe right on about 5% of men. I agree. So you don't have to put makeup on and do all this extra stuff and you'll still get attention from men. So what I'm trying to say is that their burn of performance on women is very low because I know you say, oh, there's pressure. But where does this pressure really come from? Does it come from other women? I think it comes from other women. Competition Mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. But the men ain't putting it on you because guys will take anything. No, you know what? Yeah. And uh, mine are fresh. So self You know what you're at? Because I see some women go on Instagram and whatever, and they look crazy. And people are like, "Mm, let me get a slice of that. So I agree, actually. So self-imposed pressure. Mm-hmm. Women yeah, are, women. are more evil to women than men, men are to women. Mm-hmm. Men, men can't criticize women because if you do, you're going to be called names and shit like that. I would argue that because you, you guys are saying, oh, yeah, we get criticized for being hoes or whatever. Oh, I, yeah, it's uh, the same shit different Okay, day. but girls call you hoes. Other men, you ain't going to have dudes calling you hoes like that. It's going to be other women yeah. mostly. It's women that slush shame each other the most, not other men. No. 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 Yeah, men no. maybe will do it, men but like behind you. the computer. Literally, yeah, but not, call not, you your face, not, not in your face, though. Face. No. Definitely not in your Chicks face. Chicks will tell you to your face, or you'll find they out will. later on that you're a whore. That they're a type <laughs> of shit. <laughs> Chris, you got we're a point? Really just doing no, I was saying, let's say the man is like six foot tall, he makes six figures, he's in shape, whatever. They still want, they're not, not gonna fuck him. Like, it's like, oh yeah, he does all this, but his personality may be a little off. You girls won't, don't fuck every guy you meet who meets your requirements, correct? So it's like, it's one of those things where guys do have to do extra. Just to try to get a smash you, more or less. Why is he trying to smash, though? Why is he trying to smash? Why are guys only trying to smash? Because that's, like, that's um, all I hear. Because every, that's a major thing. Yeah, we do want to smash. Why do you want a guy with money? Success. Tall. I never, looking. Said I, want guys, I never said I want guys with money. I just said, why are guys always expensive. trying to smash? So I'm asking you the question. Why do girls want a guy with money? So they can maintain them. Why do girls, in general, want a guy with money? I don't know. You must ask a girl who wants a guy with money. I don't know. Like you guys just want to smash. Then it's the same shit, different day. It's biology, man. <laughs> if we get hard, shit, we want to smash. We're not the same. Yeah, it's why right now you're showing we're your not. titties. Now your cleavage out right now. We we like it, so you know you like you know we like it, and you show someone right now. <laughs> I'm just wearing it because I like it. You're liking cat, it because you like looking at my titties. I mean, more or less. It's, it's, not, it's not bad, man. It's pretty. Okay. There's other girls here wearing their titties out, but I know, you're talking I'm, I'm, about me wearing my titties out because, because you like looking at my titties. Because you're talking right now, so I like 
That's a nice titties to the blue, you know. She has none in the middle, but I didn't say nothing about my titties, but you said something about my titties. Yeah, because I, I like titties. Period, <laughs> problem. Titty battle. Yeah, titty battle. <laughs> Damn, I need my like and subscribe to the goddamn channel. <laughs>